All right, to get started with this project today, we are going to be drawing the corn kernel, the corn cob shape. So I'm going to start by drawing a curve line right in the middle of my paper. And at the very bottom, I know it's kind of cut off, but at the very bottom, draw a dot, the bottom of your paper. Now I'm going to extend those curve lines down to meet up with that dot on one side and extend them down on the other side or just continue that shape back up to the curve line. And now we have our basic cob shape. Next, we're going to start drawing the husk above our corn cob. These are very organic, free flowing lines. They are the husk of our corn cob. So I'm gonna draw one main one, and then I'm gonna draw some coming from the side. They are wavy lines that go up and they taper off or they get smaller as they go up the page. And as they get closer to the corn cob, the bottoms of them are wider. So I drew about maybe six um, big wavy husks. And now I'm gonna get started drawing the geometrical lines for our kernels inside of our corn husk. I'm using a ruler, which is gonna help me make geometric lines and shapes. I'm gonna make three vertical lines that are inside of my husk with my ruler. Next, I'm going to rotate my ruler sideways now or horizontally, and I'm gonna make horizontal lines that go down my corn husk, or I'm sorry, corn cob. As I go down my corn cob, as I get closer and closer to the bottom, these kernels are actually going to become smaller. So my horizontal lines are going to be going to be closer to each other. So it'll give the appearance as though they are getting smaller as you go down the corn cob. So just finishing those horizontal lines. Right now we're making very geometric shapes. We could measure these. We could count these. They are not as organic, but we're gonna turn them from geometric to organic shapes in just a minute. Now that you're done, we want to transform these a little bit and make them more rounded. If you've ever saw a corn before, the kernels are not very square, they're rounded. So I'm going to get a black marker and I'm going to outline all of the pencil lines I just drew. And then when I go inside of my corn cob, I'm going to try and make those really harsh, square, geometric lines more rounded, like an actual corn kernel would look like. So here we go. I've done the basic outlines. Now we're going to go inside, trace those vertical lines, trace the horizontal lines. They look a little square, but we're going to make them round. Don't you worry. Now that I'm done tracing over those lines, I'm gonna go inside of my corn cob now, and inside of each little square that I've created, I'm gonna curve those lines. So I'm trying to make an oval with my black marker inside, and that's gonna make it look like the kernels are more rounded instead of geometric, be more organic shapes that we're creating. Also, on the outside edges, the outline of my kernel and of my cob, I'm also making that outside rounded. So as you can see, starting on the right, nice, almost scalloped lines on the outside, all the way around, and that's gonna make it look round. 
Then for the inside, you can go in and make those ovals to transform your geometric looking kernels to a more organic, rounded, natural looking kernels that we might see out in nature. Now that I'm all done, I'm adding some finishing touches just to make sure all of my kernels got a rounded, organic looking kernel. Now it's time to add some color. You can add really any kind of materials you like, such as crayons, color pencils, or markers. Just use what you have at your desk. If you only have crayons, then let's just only use crayons. But if you have other things like color pencils and markers, feel free to use them. I'm using those warm colors that I saw in the kernels, like oranges, yellows, reds, and browns. Hope you have fun making your awesome fall-inspired organic corn cob. <laughs>